Hey you guys, it's Michelle Midlock Adams. I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about my new book that's coming out. So you might wonder why I'm wearing this blinged out hat, right? Actually, my agent Kyle got it for me. Thank you, Kyle, for Christmas. But um, I have a new book coming out called What is America? So I wanted to be all patriotic today and this hat's perfect, isn't it? And it's blingy and it's, it's patriotic and those are my two favorite things. So pretty excited about that. As some of you might know, I, I've got a whole series of what is books. I've got what is Christmas, what is Easter, what is Thanksgiving, and also what is Halloween. What is Christmas and what is Easter have been some of my best-selling books of all time. In fact, they've been out so long now that parents are buying them for their own children and coming and telling me, oh, I loved this when I was a kid and now I bought them for my own kids, which means I'm really old. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm glad that they're still well-loved and still hitting you know, uh, best-selling charts. That's just a miracle of God. So I was real excited when I got the opportunity to do uh, another book for this uh, for this particular series called What is America? Let me tell you how this book came about. We um, had gone to the, uh, the Florida Christian Writers Conference, and after it was over, my agent Kyle and his wife Patty, my really good friend Wendy Lanier and her husband Boyd, we all went to Epcot. Her daughter works there, Erin. So we went to Epcot, and I've been there many times. It's one of my favorite places in the world. But I hadn't been on the American Adventure in a long time. Those of you who've gone to the American Adventure, you know it's a show. It's like an animatronics kind of a show. It's quite moving. And as Benjamin Franklin and Mark Twain, I believe it is, they take you through the history of our country. The good, the bad, and the ugly. The, the stuff to be celebrated. The stuff that are growing pains. And all of the history. And I, as this huge, you know, this musical presentation is going on, and, and, and I'm, I'm so moved, I, I was crying. I mean, it was just that kind of a thing. I looked over at Patty. She was also crying. We were moved. And when it was over, I just, I was just so grateful to be an American, so grateful for my country, so grateful for the freedoms that we have that aren't for free. And when we left, I looked at Kyle as we walked on the steps and I said, I'm going to write a book about that for kids. And he said, you should. And I did. And Worthy Kids bought it. And so What is America comes out April the 9th. And I'm telling you, I've done a lot of books in my time, over 90 now, over 60 for children. And I love to write for kids more than anything in the world. There are very few books that, that have hit me in a way that this one has. I always put my heart and soul into all my books, but there was something very special about this book. As I wrote it, I knew that God's anointing was upon me, and I hope that doesn't sound super spiritual, but I'm just telling you, I know I was to write this for such a time as this. With all the division that we've experienced in the country over the past few years, um, I just wanted our kids not to pick up on that negativity, but just to celebrate this country and to be grateful for America and for those who've gone before us to make it possible to live here in a, in a free and a brave country. So um, it is a wonderful little book to, to help kids grow up patriotic and to appreciate this wonderful nation that we live in. So I hope that you will buy What is America for the kids in your life and just join with me in prayer that um, this will be a unifying book that Republicans and Democrats and, and those who are in between will not worry about that and lay all that down and just celebrate that we're all unified, that we're all Americans, and that God is sovereign over.